John Craxton left Britain for Athens in May of 1946, helped by Lady Peter Norton, the wife of the British ambassador to Greece. She set him up in a room above the embassy's garage. At an embassy dinner, Craxton displeased the ambassador with a passing remark dismissing politics. Lady Norton diplomatically packed him off to the island of Poros after a suggestion from their mutual friend Patrick Lee Fermor, who had visited the island before the war. On Poros, he was joined by his close friend Lucian Freud for seven months. Poros, with its coastline and pine-scented hills, was described by Lawrence Durrell as the happiest place I've ever known. And Craxon also found tremendous joy there too, lodging with the Mastro Petros family, where he drew and painted under the intense light of Aegean skies. His subjects were studies and portraits of the local fishermen, the Naval Academy trainees, and the landscape, including Hotel by the Sea, 1946, now in the collection of Tate Britain. Never previously exhibited, it is not definitively known who this 1947-48 head of a young man actually is. It doesn't appear to be a self-portrait, but it is a compelling portrait of a young man with fair hair and blue eyes, the light coming from the right, the left side of his face in shadow. Ian Collins, Craxton's biographer, has suggested that it, that it might be the teenage Petros Mastro Petros, son of his host, or perhaps more likely his elder brother Dinos, with whom Craxton had a closer relationship. However, looking at his lonely figures in Arcadian landscapes in England, Colin says, until John Craxton escaped to Greece in the spring of 1946, his images of lonely figures and menaced landscapes were emblematic self-portraits. Could this be more likely an emblematic self-portrait of Craxton in Greece? Hopefully, depending on the current health crisis, Ian Collins's forthcoming biography of John Craxton will be published by Yale University Press in May 2021 and launched at the gallery in Dering Street with an exhibition of Craxton's work prior to his departure to Greece in 1946. Do keep an eye on our website for news at www.osbornsamuel.com where you will find other works by John Craxton. Osborne Samuel represent the estate of John Craxton.